Welcome everyone. Sorry, I am behind on my snapshots. Um, it's my fault. I kind of lost track about to do this. Now there is a brand new snapshot out. I'm not going over anything and that's not just yet. I'll do it in the next video which will be out tomorrow. So sorry I'm behind. Let's get into this. So the first thing that came out with that snapshot that I missed was the drip stone. And there's a few of the features that were added on that include the powdered snow, which I'm going to go ahead and put down right there. Thank you for putting it out. And it also includes the bundles and the scented candles. I grabbed the most delicious scented candles there are on the market and put it in my inventory so we can do a wonderful test today. Now, first off, the drip stone. There is the stalagmite and then the stalactite. Don't get the two confused. They're both the same in a way where they look like pointed rocks and stuff that hurt real bad. Now, the stalag tight hangs from the ceiling, drops water, drops it down, and if you put a collagen below it, it can either fill it up with water or, depending on the block that's above it, it can fill it up either with water or it can fill it up with lava. And if mods come out for this, which I guarantee there will, I, I guarantee that Sky Factory, um, whatever number is going to be around that time, is going to include this, and it'll probably drop any source of liquid that comes with mods. So keep that in mind. And as you can notice, it's dropping water right there. It can fill a cauldron, but don't even try to do it. It'll fill a cauldron with lava or water, but it does take 200 years, unfortunately. Now, useful feature with this is you can have this set up as a mob grinder. Now, mobs can fall on top of it. They don't die instantly. So that's where, I guess, lava is also going to come in. They can fall down, take way more damage, depending on how high it is. You take more damage depending on how, you are, how high you are from this or that up there. And depending on how long it is from the top one depends on how much damage you're gonna take if it come if it's uh only one long it'll kill you instantly if it's too long it'll probably still kill you if it's three long it'll do 95 percent of your health and it's four long i mean depending on the you know how close you are to it will do like you know 80 percent to 50 percent Earlier it did 50% to me and I come in here and it's doing like 80% to me. So I, I don't know. I think it just varies like depending on how you're positioned for it or something. So click this. It falls. It, it should have done a little bit more, but it only did about seven hearts. I guess it just depends on the position you're at and if you walk into it. So that's one thing you can come out of it you can use it to kill mobs that come near you use it as a way to crush mobs that you know are entering your territory have it set as a redstone going out to like your front lawn mobs walk in which comes in play with the wireless redstone object that i'm going to show off in the next video now the next part of the features will include powder snow and powdered snow, I gotta go on and create it real quick. All right, now the next feature, powdered snow. Here's a interesting thing about powdered snow. They added in the freezing effect and it will slowly kill you over time. I've already tested out how long it takes. It is, It takes a quite a while, but it will freeze you. It will kill you unless you put some armor on. But there's a specific type of armor you have to have on. Now you could throw on iron armor. You're still you're still freezing. Chainmail armor, still freezing. Diamond armor, you're still freezing. I forgot about gold, but no one cares about gold because it's only there for bling. Netherite armor, still killing you. Leather armor. Leather armor is the only armor you can put on that'll save you from the freezing. I guarantee that the update, whenever they fully release it, will include a bit more into, like, if you have full set of armor, they might change it up a bit to where it's like, you know, you got fur armor, you know, you get the leather armor. Leather won't keep you warm forever. Right? 
So they might work something into that. So if you're freezing and you put that on, it's going to warm you up a bit. But eventually you're going to start to freeze again. I guarantee that. Unless you have fur armor. I bet you they're going to have fur armor. It'd be the best thing for that. Just to be realistic. They're trying to be realistic with some of this stuff. So, yeah. Now, the next thing I want to show is the bundles. Now, the bundles, they changed it up a little bit where you get to see the interior of it. And it's still the same. Uh, anything that is considered as a stack, like Ender Pearl, Snowballs, or a stack of Cobblestone, anything that is gonna fill up the square say like you know 64 torches 64 dirt 64 cobblestone or 16 ender pearls or 16 snowballs still gonna fill the thing up but as you can see if i pick it up look at that 64 candles you right click it you take everything out down do this i right click it it throws everything in there take this right click throw that in there and if you want to take stuff out, it only takes out the last thing you put in. The great part is now it only takes out one item if you're wanting to take out one item. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't allow you to choose what item to take out. They probably will change that in the future, though. Right now, I think they're just, you know, working and it's like, okay, you know, this, that. There. Spyglass. Last I checked, they did something with it. I don't think I showed it off in any video. It could have been before, you know, the last snapshot. But they, it was a circle. Now it's a square. It's literally Minecraft now. Previously, it was a circle. And circles don't exist in Minecraft. So they changed it up to be a square. And that concludes the snapshot that came out with the jumpstone. So far, that's all the features that I saw that were added in. I mean, I think there was one other feature. I just don't remember what it was. I don't remember what video I watched that had that extra feature in there. But, yeah. So, with that, thank you guys again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I know people are coming over here. I know you're watching. Just hit the button. If you don't want to come back to watch the video again, I, I really don't care. I want to help people out, so I want to donate money. And the money I make from YouTube, I'm going to donate to, you know, charity. I am. I'm not going to use it for myself. I don't need it. I really don't. So help me reach the goal of 1,000 subscribers. And I guarantee you, I'm going to do a giveaway. I will do a giveaway. And it will be with my own money. It won't be something big. It won't be like a, you know, Xbox One or, you know, not an Xbox One, an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. It won't be anything like that. It'll be, you know, a gift card of like 20, 30 bucks or something like that. Either way. I will do a giveaway of something, so please, everyone, subscribe the button, or hit the button, subscribe. If you don't want to come back and watch, that's fine. Just hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel. It really, really does, because in order to start working on the channel a little bit more, I have to get up to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 video hours watched in a single year. So, yep. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a good day, good evening, good night, good morning, wherever you're in the world. I'm going to release a video the next day with the next part of Snapshot, which will be the Lost My Thought. Well, there will be a video, so keep in mind that. Um, I'll see you guys later, I guess. Peace.